Today I'm going to talk about Bharad Vajasana. It's a hip opener, a spinal twist, a shoulder stretch, and it's gnarly. <laughs> so the way that I typically get into it is I start with one knee bent and you take your foot back behind you with the top of the foot on the floor, toes pointing straight back. So you're in half hero here. You can move the flesh of your calf off to the side a little bit, making some room. And then the other leg, the knee will drop out to the side. You take the foot up to the hip crease. So the outside edge of the foot goes into the hip crease. Then you allow that knee to drop forward and down. My left arm is gonna go behind the back and I grab onto the big toe of my left foot with my peace fingers. From there, I take the right arm across the leg, palm facing out, top of the hand slides over the knee, palm to the floor, and the knee presses the hand down. The spinal twist is turning your spine to the left, and then you turn your neck to the right and look down toward your right shoulder, and then you're in the pose. Now that can be a pretty difficult pose. It's fairly advanced, and there are ways to make it more accessible and modify to prep for it. One is to sit on a block or a bolster, and I would recommend making it wide enough so both of your sits bones are on it. This makes it a little bit easier to bring that first foot back behind you. I'm gonna go with my left this time. So top of the foot to the floor. The foot is just outside of the hip. And then the right knee drops out to the side. Now it's okay to have your foot on the floor. You don't have to bring it up into the hip crease. This is uh, one modification of the pose itself. I'm gonna take my right arm behind the back. Maybe I don't grab the big toe. Maybe I just keep the hand here. The left arm's gonna cross over and you can hold on to the outer thigh, facilitating the twist to the right, neck turning to look down toward the left shoulder. So here's one modification. And you can also use a block, another block, underneath that right thigh for more stability. Now, if you're trying to get that bind and grab the big toe, but you're just not quite there yet, you can use a strap. You wrap it around the foot. The foot can stay on the floor or you can bring it up into the hip crease and then take both ends of the strap back behind you with your left hand, hold it back there so your right hand can reach around and grab the strap. And there you are. <laughs>